All right. So we've got Jamie Edmondson and Lauren Anderson. And uh, where are you in town again tonight? We'll be at the um, at Quintessential. Okay. A bar in St. Charles. So what exactly do you do in these club appearances? Uh, we are actually the spokesmodels for the new um, Seagram's Seven Crown Dark Honey and Stone Cherry Whiskey that they came out with. So I'm the cherry girl with my red hair and Lauren's obviously honey. Right. Oh. So we wear our custom made bunny suits and we we take photos and, you know, hang out at the Playway party. And there'll be some girls dressed as bunnies as well doing Servers. serving. And okay. We just party for everyone to try the new whiskeys. Awesome. So my question is actually, how do you become a Playboy Playmate? What's the process? It's different for everybody, I think. I mean, well, most people, I think, just send their pictures in or are discovered, seen out somewhere. Go to casting calls. Right. Um, Jamie and I actually both have special stories, though. I was um, selected on the first and only nationally televised um, Playmate search. So I, oh, wow. I won that, and that's how I became a Playmate. How about you, Jamie? Uh, I was on a show called The Amazing Race, and okay. Playboy approached my partner and I at the time to do like a double pictorial celebrity edition, and she turned it down because she's in law school. <laughs> and so they came back to me and said, Hef, I'd like to know what you think about being a Playmate. So it was not something that I had actually sought out, but it's been great so far. Have you, what are any downsides to being a Playmate? The stereotype. I think would be the only one that I, that I can imagine. And because people, you know, everybody thinks that we w- want to steal their husband or boyfriend, of course. <laughs> we're gold diggers. We're, you know, tramps. We're all that stuff. So that that's the only. Escorts. Escorts. It's, it's, yes. it's, it's an unfortunate, that's, the, I would say, the only thing that is negative stere- yeah. is the stereotype. How prevalent would you say that stereotype is? How often do you run into it? People make that assumption all the time. All the time. So until they meet us, until they meet us and actually talk to us, and then it's like, oh, well, you're nicer than I thought you'd be, or you're not a total idiot, you know? <laughs> oh, you're not trying to oh, steal you, my husband. You both went to you college. Know? Oh my you're gosh. Right. <laughs> right. What What are your degrees in? Uh, mine's in criminology. Mine's animal biology. Awesome. Okay, so how much do you get paid to be a Playboy Playmate? It depends on how right. much work you do. Girls can be as involved as they choose to be. So they're, they're girls that I've met that have literally done just their actual centerfold and have gone back to where they came from, and that's all they want to do. And then there's girls like me who I do it full time. You know, okay. I actually moved from Florida to the Bunny House a little over a year ago because I said, if I'm going to do this, I might as well do it. You know, Because I knew it yeah. would close some doors, but it would definitely open others. So I moved uh, with two suitcases and my dog and made the commitment <laughs> to do this full time. And then Lauren's kind of in between because she owns right. her own business as well. Oh, what what right. business do you own? I own a medical spa in Florida. Wow. Yes. You are all over the place. <laughs> do you ever sleep? <laughs> no. Not so much. <laughs> we have to take specific just sleeping vacations. I'm going to go and just sleep the whole time. Wow. Then I'm like, okay, four more days and I'm going to sleep. Then we'll sleep. <laughs> but you know what? I'd rather do as much as I can now because... I started later than a lot of girls. I didn't pose for Playboy until I was 30. Mm-hmm. The average age, I feel like, is usually about 20, I was 22. 21, mm-hmm. early 20. So they've got, you know, a good solid 10 years that they can do it all. Yeah. And I don't feel like I have that because I obviously I'd like to move on at some point to the next stage of life. So starting later, I try to do everything that I can now. I mean, I want to, I want to do it all. Yeah. That's a very good thing to do. Um, oh, you sleep when I'm done. So how, how, does, how do you go about moving into the Playboy house? Is that an it's invite really open to about everyone? Timing. It's good timing because there's about r- enough room for eight ladies to live there. Okay. And you have to write Mr. Hefner a letter asking. And there happened to be a girl moving out around the same time that I asked to move in. So okay. for me, it was good timing. And then um, once it's full, it's full. So, and then usually it's, it's a good place. He tries to keep it for girls who are transitioning like myself. Like I had no family and no friends. In L.A., when I decided I wanted to move there to be more involved with Playboy, um, because our our, um, studio that we shoot at is in Santa Monica, and there's the headquarters in Chicago, so it's pretty much one or the other you need to go to if you want to be more local and get more local jobs there. So it's like I have a built-in family. Nice. Very nice. So, I mean, do you have to pay rent when you're there? No, I don't have to pay rent, and he lets us eat at the mansion across the street, our meals. How many mansions are there? Well, Wait, he, the, the Hef lives at the mansion, and then he owns what we call the Playmate House, or nicknamed the Bunny House, which is across she the street. She doesn't live with oh, Hef. Oh, she's not one of his girlfriends. I didn't know that no. there was more than two. <laughs> yes, no. to clarify, the only yes. people that live at the mansion is Hef and his girlfriends. 
or girlfriend. So what's girlfriend. the process to become Hef's girlfriend? I we don't know. We've never, never been, been. I've never been asked. <laughs> so I think it's just he just meets them, and you know, it's, it's same way anybody else would start dating somebody. I guess they they meet and is he actually dating. dating them, or is it yeah. just all for show? No, no they, they live dating. there. They actually live there. Yeah. Wow. So I live across the street. So uh, people are confused. I don't have like a curfew and and all that because that is you know part Dude. of the mansion. But the bunny house really our our only rule is that we're not allowed to have boys there, which is fine because I don't want to walk in and see some random man in his underwear on my couch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think any woman really does. To be yeah, honest, no, thank you. So it's actually more of a safety reason. People are like, oh, don't you hate that you can't have anyone over? But when you think about it, if there's seven or eight girls that live there and they're bringing in a man that you don't know, it's not really yeah, safe. safe. I used to be a police officer in Florida, and it's just you're just it's a recipe for trouble. I can imagine. So the the actual Playboy Mansion has a curfew. Well, his, his girlfriends. girlfriends do. Really, they, there's a difference. All... Like his there's his girlfriends that are just Hugh Hefner's girlfriends, and then there's like Playboy playmates. And sometimes they're this, you know, there's his girlfriend is a playmate, but a lot of people get that confused that they think that his girlfriends because like the media calls them playmates. They're not. They're simply really? just like, like Hef's girlfriend, Holly like Kendra Holly Kent. They're were not, not playmates. playmates. They weren't actually. Oh. They were just his girlfriends. his girlfriends. I kind of thought he just sort of picked from that pool. No, no. Mm-mm. Wow. Occasionally, one of his girlfriends is a playmate or becomes a playmate, but there's only twelve of us per year, and they're not. We have like a month. We're an actual centerfold, like you fold out of the magazine uh-huh. and a Playboy a bunny, January, a Miss January. July. You're right. Twelve a month. That's it. People get that really confused, so yeah. we get de- like a little defensive about that because yeah. we're well. That's why I'm asking you these questions because right. I don't know. I have I'm making all it's, the same assumptions, a, right? <laughs>